So if you saw the last discussion, or since you saw the last discussion, we talked about the split phase being the first phase, and that's really the part that creates the stream. So I'm going to spend just a few minutes talking about some common creation operations that streams provide. And those are the things that take some source, which is usually a list or an array or something, and turn it into a stream. Now, hopefully you have taken CS3251. If you took that course here, you probably learned about something called the factory method pattern, which is a way of creating something. And it shields the users of that something from the implementation details of how it was created. We sometimes use the analogy of uh, sausage making. You may not want to know how the sausage is made, but maybe, it, maybe or maybe you don't like the taste of sausage, but you probably don't want to have to know how it's made because it's kind of messy. Well, the factory method pattern is about trying to shield you from the complexities of how something is created. And that's precisely what creational methods or factory methods do in Java stream. So here's an example. You've seen this before. Stream of, of is typically a factory method in modern Java. And in this case, we give it an array of strings, and it makes us a string. So in this particular case, we start out with an array of strings, which is the part that's this part here in red. And then we go ahead and call the of method, and that turns it into a stream of strings. And that's basically what the of factor method does. It takes an array of type T and converts it into a stream of type T. There are lots and lots and lots of methods that make stream. The most common methods that we will use in this course are dot stream and dot parallel stream, or better, stream and parallel stream. Uh, the dot is just there to say it's a method call on an object or an interface or something. And uh, these are by far the most common factory methods used. These methods are inherited from the Java collection interface. If you go look at the Java collection interface, you'll see that these are so-called default methods. Back in the day, back in prehistoric Java, you could not define methods in interfaces. You could only have them declared. In modern Java, you can declare default implementations of methods in interfaces. And that's precisely what stream and parallel stream do. Later in the course, we'll look at how they're actually implemented. It's very cool. There's also some other methods we'll look at. Stream of, I think we've already talked about that. Pattern.compile.split as stream, which is used for regular expression processing and pattern matching. And stream support.stream, which is used actually by stream and parallel stream in order to take a collection and convert it into a stream. And we'll talk at more length about these methods when we get further along. There are also many other methods, some of which we will talk about, most of which we will not. I will talk about them briefly here and show you some examples of them. So the bottom line is with modern Java, there's just gobs of different ways to convert different types of entities, different types of objects and so on, or data into streams. So that's just a quick summary, nothing particularly deep or profound, just giving you a heads up that there's this concept of creation and factor methods that do that in streams. 